Welcome, I just have a quick video today. So in this video I wanted to talk about how to find out which packages you have installed when you're using Macports. So Macports is a software package manager. It runs on the command line. It's similar to like apt on Linux. And I'll put a link below to some other videos I've done on installing Macports on the Mac. So I'll clear my screen here. So if you want to find out what packages you have installed, you can type port space installed, and that will show all of the packages. So this will show every single package and also the dependencies. And what dependencies are, are packages that are installed that help other packages. So say you installed a music player, there might be a package that actually decodes the music. So I find this list to not be very useful. There's a lot of stuff on here. And I find a better command to be port installed requested. So what this is going to do is this is going to show you which packages you've actually requested. So this means you typed in sudo space port space install space wget or whatever package. So we have this list here. I'll scroll up here in just a minute. So I have all sorts of things here. I have alib, I have bash, I have ffmpeg, image magic, hyperf3, wget, youtube dl. And what I want to do is I want to capture this. So I can run the same command and then I can type greater than space. I'll say tilde forward slash desktop forward slash macports underscore ports dot txt. So you can name this whatever you want. I'll name it that. And this is just telling me I'm a little out of date, which is fine. And now if I go to my desktop, we have macports underscore ports. So it's a good idea to capture this because if I ever rebuild my system and I reinstall Mac ports, I may want to know which ports I had installed previously so I can reinstall them. And every once in a while something could get corrupt with Mac ports, so you just want to wipe it out and start from scratch. So I would recommend occasionally doing a backup like this of the port names. That way you can go in and reinstall all of the software down the road later. So there's lots of versions on here. This is going to get a little more advanced here. I'll go back into my terminal. I'll clear my screen. Now when I run this, you can see that they have the name here and then a space. So what I can actually do is run my command again and I'll pipe that to cut. And I'll type space dash D space quote space quote. So what this is saying is we want to cut this and the delimiter is a space. And then we want to type space dash F space one. So that's not going to show anything because we had those leading spaces. I think if we do two, that's not going to either. But I think if we do three, that will, okay? So let me go back to this. So you can see we had two spaces here, and then we had this space here. So that's why we want field three, because of these leading spaces. But now that we have these, we still have lots of duplicates here. That's easy to fix. We can type pipe space unique. And we want U-N-I-Q, you don't want to spell the whole word out. And if we do that, now we just have the names of the packages here, starting at AALib. So now I can save this to a file. If I go to my desktop here, we have a little bit cleaner list here. Of course, then it does spell check. I'll just turn that off. So this list will be helpful if I ever go to reinstall Mac ports. I can look on here and see what software I had installed. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.